This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2069, How to Tell if You're in Denial as a Parent, by Dr. Margaret Rutherford of drmargaretrutherford.com. Hello, everybody. I'm Greg Audino, and I thank you so much for tuning in today as we look towards another parenting article, as we do each Thursday and Friday. Now, this time, we won't focus so much on the tasks or the day-to-day of parenting, but rather how we can be in denial as parents how to acknowledge that and work through it. I hope everyone's ears are perked up for this very important read. Let's get into it now and optimize your life. How to Tell if You're in Denial as a Parent by Dr. Margaret Rutherford of drmargaretrutherford.com What parent doesn't have some form of regret? It goes along with the territory. Parenting is just plain tough. How often have you looked back at times you fell short? Times that you did, said, ignored, thought, blurted out, even screamed things you wish you could take back. Perhaps you looked the other way when your child was doing something dangerous because you were overwhelmed at the end of a long day. Or maybe you came down way too hard on one of your kids because you were actually upset with your partner. Mistakes are part of being a parent, and they feel terrible to make. But here's another angle. The fact that you will admit your flaws reflects integrity. I personally could fly to Paris and back if I had a dollar for every mistake I've made. In her best-selling advice book, Girl, Wash Your Face, Rachel Hollis, lifestyle guru and author, reminds us to get a grip when it comes to shame about parenting. She says, quote, So I'm not going to talk about finding your peace. I'm going to talk about embracing your chaos. Let's be honest. This is way more likely a scenario, because I don't know a woman alive today who can slow down long enough to find her keys, let alone a continuous state of inner peace. If you ever happen to find your peaceful inner bliss while raising children, please don't tell the rest of us. It'll only make us sad, and I eat raw cake batter when I'm sad. End quote. But what about denial? Your job as a parent is to guide and protect. Denial of your own problems or your child's problems gets in the way of that. Big time. What does denial sound like? I know I get too mad, but I'm not like my mom. Jason can read just fine. He doesn't need testing. I don't want him labeled at school. The kids will be fine with us splitting up. They're good kids. I just like to get relaxed at night. Having a couple of beers doesn't hurt anybody. Experts define denial as, quote, the refusal to accept reality or fact acting as if a painful event, thought, or feeling did not exist. End quote. You don't want to accept something that's right in front of your nose. Couples can be in denial together. They can both turn away from what is the obvious truth. Or they can fight about it. Here's what that never-ending conflict sounds like. You've got to get control of your temper. They think you're mad at them all the time. Will needs to be tested. He's falling behind and he thinks he's stupid. You may think the kids will be fine, and maybe they will, but leave your new friend out of it. Or, your drinking is way out of hand. What does it take to admit denial? What does it take to stop living in denial? Too often, it's when something really painful or dramatic happens. You fly into a rage and hit that child that you adore. Your son starts smoking because he doesn't know how to fit in with kids that are achieving in school. Your 13-year-old daughter sleeps with her boyfriend. She's angry and confused after the divorce, and he's there for her. You get arrested for driving under the influence, after one of those times that you are getting relaxed. Confronting denial takes being brutally honest with yourself. It means admitting your mistakes and being willing to be scared and vulnerable. Three steps to confront your own denial. Number one, listen to what others are telling you about yourself. This is especially true if you're hearing from more than one source that some aspect of your behavior is troubling. If nobody has reached out to you, but you suspect you've got an issue you need to confront, ask a trusted friend to help you sort out what you're going through. You could also go to a therapist, who's an objective resource with whom you could discuss the rationality of your concerns. Number two, try to realize if you're having an over or an under reaction. This generally happens as a result of your own history. For example, if you were harshly abused as a child, then you hesitate to ever discipline your children. You're underreacting. 
But if you've never worked through your own abuse and struggle with anger, then you might overreact harshly when your own children disappoint you or go against the rules. You have to learn whether or not your over- or under-reactions are signs that your past is triggering something in your present. I call that becoming an emotional grown-up. And number three, realize it's powerful to admit vulnerabilities. All too often, people think that admitting your vulnerabilities means you're announcing that you're weak. It's quite the opposite. It takes strength to see yourself for who you are and make a commitment to self-improvement. Give yourself a break if you carry around a ton of shame about parenting mistakes. We all make them. But if you're in denial, please don't wait until something tragic happens to wake up to the truth. You just listened to the post titled How to Tell if You're in Denial as a Parent by Dr. Margaret Rutherford of drmargaretrutherford.com, and I will be back with my commentary right after this. Now, there's a lot of talk about New Year's resolutions right now, and most of them revolve around either a healthier lifestyle or freeing up some time for ourselves. Why not both? Get started on your resolutions with Factor, so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. And what I really like is that when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week, or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. So head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. And thank you very much to Dr. Margaret for this post. I really like this one, and I do believe it's very helpful for anyone to consider, not just parents, like I mentioned in the intro. And it should also be said that being accepting of one's denial is a big part of this process. For many of us, the idea of being in denial likely brings feelings of shame or maybe foolishness, and not wanting to be associated with such things, of course. We turn denial into this monster, a monster that it really doesn't have to be. You know, we double our struggle by rejecting this potential identity. So again, we must be accepting of even the possibility of being in denial about any area of life, not just parenting. Now, how might we start this process? I would say, look at others who you think may be in denial. About something big or small. Other people that you respect. Can you empathize with them? Can you see how they got there? And can you look at yourself and see how a caring person in their life, such as yourself, is still loving and patient towards them? Things to think about as we wrap up for today, everybody. It's been a great episode, and I really appreciate you joining me for it. I hope you took something from this and that it encourages you to look inward a bit. Have a great rest of your day, and be sure to come back tomorrow for another post where your optimal life awaits.